Hey everyone, I'm here with a eyebrow painting tutorial. I'm just going to go over what paintbrush I use, what kind of paint I use, and the consistency of the paint. And then I'll talk about, you know, how I actually do it, I guess. So the brush I use is a very fine detail brush. It's a La Cornelle liner brush, I think. And you can see it's a size zero, so it's pretty small. I get these from Dick Blick. I'll add links down below in the description. The paint that I use, it, it varies. Sometimes I use acrylic, sometimes I use watercolor, sometimes I use gouache. It just depends. Mostly on what kind of color I'm trying to make. Uh, I don't ever mix those together. If I'm using gouache, it's just gouache. If I'm using watercolor, I only mix watercolors. And if I'm using acrylic, it's only acrylic. I never mix acrylic and watercolor together to make a paint. So these are the three that I use, or the three brands that I use. Actually, I don't have the gouache on here. Liquid watercolor, and then the golden acrylics, which are very sort of high flow, and then just the model color acrylics, which is a sort of standard type of acrylic, but it's a soft body acrylic, which means it's not as thick as some other acrylics. What you want to aim for, regardless of what type of paint you're using, is a nice runny consistency. You want your paint to be mostly like ink, so that it flows off the brush nice and easily. And you can experiment, obviously, with different brands, with different colours and different flow and that sort of stuff. It really is personal preference. And like I said, I generally just go for whatever colour I need. Don't ever mix them all together like this. <laughs> Um, anyway, once you've sort of mixed your paint and gotten the right consistency, then I would definitely recommend practicing your strokes and trying to build up some skill and some confidence in actually making short, feathery strokes. And this is just a head cap from a doll's own doll. And I use it to make sure the paint is the right colour and that it's flowing correctly. And I'll add a link down below to a paint consistency video that I did. But yeah, so you can practice doing your strokes, fat strokes, thin strokes, that sort of thing. And I mean, there's no substitute for just practicing, really. So when I'm actually painting the eyebrow, what I do is I start at the arch or at the tip and I'll pull from the outside in towards the bridge of the nose. How you do that really depends on what kind of eyebrow you are trying to paint. If you're trying to do a wobbly eyebrow, then you're going to bend the line. If you're doing a straight brow, then you're going to do it straight. And how you place those hairs, really, again, personal preference. And I do tend to do it a different way depending on the style of eyebrow I'm trying to pull off. But regardless of the brush stroke style, I always start at that outer corner and drag inwards towards the bridge. And this is mostly because the paint's at its thickest at the arch, and then by the time we get to the inner bridge, it's tapered off a bit. And then after that, I'll then add some upstrokes from the bridge out towards the arch. But that's really essentially it. Start from the outside, work your way in, and then work from the inside to back to the outside. I use this same basic principle for all the eyebrows I do. It doesn't matter if they're extremely arched or if they're very fluffy or if they're with wiggly lines or anything like that. It's always the same process. And there are no hard and fast rules to this. Really, it comes down to your own personal preference and how you like to paint because everybody's different and painting is very much a muscle memory sort of thing so it tends to be something that you build up through repetition over time. And the rest of this video is just me painting some eyebrows so that you can follow along and watch. So hopefully that helped you out. Okay guys, bye.